Hello everyone, my name is Coldwin, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Look, we have some more crops to harvest now. These are crops that are very likely not going to stay here because they're flowers and hops. I don't particularly care about hops. Like, this guy can go. The blueberries, though, they can stay here. They have permission. So does... Well, actually, yucca. Let's move the yucca there. It's useful, but it's not like top tier useful, if that makes sense. Okay, recipes, yucca seed, craft them up. Uh, hops, same deal. I, I, I don't know what to do with hops. I really don't. Go in the, go in the, I, I think you're kind of useless box. Okay. Uh, blueberries, recipes, let's remake those three seeds. So we should have a full field of blueberries. All right, good. Where did my thing go? There it is. Yoink. Ooh, that's ever so slightly annoying that I can't bridge that gap. Oh, well, there might actually be some blueberries left over. Haha, -ha, there is. Look, our first full, um, I don't know what you would call it, row. That's the word I'm looking for. First row is... Still not full. Damn it. Okay. Well, I need to be more careful when I speak. Oh, well. It's fine. Because, look, we've got goldenrod flowers for the garden. I've got the extra goldenrod I can throw in the food box. Perfect. And then this yucca seed I'm going to throw in the ground. Here. Is that super corn ready? No. Man, I feel like that's a little slower. Though, I don't have a lot of use for it. Is that aloe still growing? Yeah, okay. There we go. The garden will be producing sooner rather than later. I've been really hoping to get more coffee beans, but... It just hasn't been in the loot. I need to check more garbage, because you find stuff like that in the garbage actually quite often, but... I haven't been that lucky. Okay, how's this going? Could be better. Let's, uh, let's let it run its course a little longer and continue to make endless bullet ca casings as it does. And I'm just want to, I'm just curious if my, if my, uh, what am I, my concrete farm down here, how's the concrete farm doing? Because I've been adding, I still work on it at, like, at nighttime. So there's the, there's the coal area, there's the... What's it called? Lead area and the stone areas down here. I don't know why I'm just kind of tunneling away in one direction. How long? Nine minutes? Go longer. For the duration of the episode, at least. Oh, that's not even the duration, but you know what I mean. Uh, I, I want to keep this running. How much is in there? 10,000? Good. I think the capacity is like 30 or something. And then when it gets to that, we're just going to print out all the concrete we could ever need. Okay, so, what do I need to do? I need to work on the horde base, and that we shall flush out this morning. I'm using really weird verbs today. I don't get it. Okay, it's fine. Clearly, I'm not fully awake yet. Night shift has my brain scrambled a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Okay, here we go. Now, I need to cut some more trees down because I've got a lot of wood, but I don't think it'll be quite enough. So, I'll just quickly grab a tree. As one does. I'm really excited for this horde base. It could either go really well or really wrong. My concern is that the zombies just try to beat the walls down. And that'll be a disappointing case if that's what happens, but... I mean... The, the very standard designs, while they work, they get boring really fast. Like, if you could just have them all running in a straight line towards you, you just have to aim at them, and it, it's not very engaging. This design is going to force me to pay a little more attention, and I like that. Let's see here. I don't know. Let's say 50 to start, but I, I'm going to need more than that. I know for a fact I'm going to need more than that. I'm going to need a couple shapes, too. So, um, 
I thought about doing a staircase, so kind of like this. So the zombies are forced to hop every time and they go so slow when they do that. The problem I have with going up several blocks, I don't know how tall this will be, maybe somewhere to six to 10 blocks tall this tower is gonna be. My only concern is that they get frustrated, I think, if they don't get to you in a certain time and they start banging on stuff. So we do want to limit that so I think I'm just going to make it simple for them and make ramp, like a very clean ramp. But it's going to be booby trapped at, well, two extremes, basically. Now, I have to be careful where I start it because I need to sort of plan out where the blade traps are going to go. Okay, here we go. Let's, uh, let's pick a shape now. Where's the ramp? Like the basic ramp. Basic bitch ramp. There it is. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. No, don't turn it that way. No. Which one? There we go. That's the place key. God, I was, I've been playing other games, and my ability to place blocks just goes out the window when I do that. I think... Uh, so this would be like a regular block here. So I, I, I need a second stack, actually. Can I split stacks? There's got to be a control to do that. Oh, wait, I've got an idea. There we go. That split the stack. <laughs> you just have to hold it. And then if I put it back down. Yeah, that worked. Okay, good. I, I There's got to be a key that does it, but I don't remember offhand and I'm too lazy to look it up. So this will have to do. Now a blade trap is going to be... Um, it's three by three. So the base... Wait a minute. Why is that wood colored already? Ah, it doesn't matter. So, a blade trap is 3x3. Three three. So if we have it head level here, they're going to run into it and get sliced and diced hilariously. Now, I need to avoid hitting the ones, the guys that blow up. I've got to avoid hitting them in the chest. So this needs to be head level. So if we center the blade trap, like... Now this is just for for the sake of building. But if I center the blade trap here, it'll hit them in the heads here. It'll hit them in the heads on this side here. And then I can start ramping up again here. I think that's, that's the way I'm going to do it. But where's my other frame blocks? There we go. So I'm going to have to do... Uh, where's... This is going to be a lot slower than I thought on face. There we go. That one works nicely. So like this, and then we're back in the corner again there. That's how this, this is going to work. Now, the only issue I have is one, two, it's only going two blocks up at a time, which isn't very high. I need to make sure there's enough room for them to get in here. And I need to repeat the pattern on this side as well. So if they're going to, if they're going to, if the corner's flat, there we go. Then we're going in uh, this this a direction. Let's make some more frames for the other pile. Go to the other pile. Good. It is going to the other pile. Okay. So now that this is on face, it should... There we go. It should obey. It obeys better on the other side. I just want to make sure that this design makes sense. And that they're not immediately whacking the ramp when they come in because that would be very irritating to me because I think the door is going to come in like this it's going to be in the center so they're going to come in their first instinct should be to go to this should be now I'm hoping that that pays off for me it probably won't let's be honest here when does th when do things ever go as planned rare very rare but I will try. I will try all the same. I think I like that though. So it forces them in. Now the only problem is if they decide to whack a mole this block, but I don't think they will because they'll have a path up. So that should be fine. And it's a very dense design. That's the thing that makes me a little nervous, but at the same time, I want the design dense because I'm gonna be shooting explosive arrows at least when I get to the point where I can manufacture a ton of them at once. Oh wait, I have this quite- I've got this wrong. Hang on. 
Hang on. I got this wrong. I need to, uh... I need to make more of these, first of all. No, not that pile. They don't deserve any more. Uh, shoot. Well, that was unfortunate. Oh, wood shapes. I see how that was different. No! Stop going to the triangle pile. Go to the square pile. Thank you. Jerk. Yeah, see, that's not right. That's not right either, actually. Shoot. I can't do that. I can't do it. I've got to adjust it ever so slightly. That's fine. Actually, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Well, we'll alter this design here. Ugh. Why did I do this? Wood shapes. Not what I wanted to do. Though, that's kind of a time saver for upgrading. I should probably keep that in mind. This is going to have to come out. So, I want more than one block. Okay. Alright, here. Let's, uh, let's think about this. And by think about it, I mean I'm going to put down these so I can actually visualize what I'm doing here. So that's the entrance. Ugh, out of... You know what? Screw it. I don't have the patience for this. I wish there was, um... For shapes. I wish there was, like, a short menu for, like, favorites or something. Favorite shapes. So that if you're doing a base, you can just pick, quickly pick between them, or even like a shortcut key. That would be handy. So they probably will never do it, but it would be handy. Okay. So I need the corners to be flat. Maybe if I put the, actually I could put the blade traps in the corners. Oh, see now the ideas are flowing. Hang on. Let me show you what I mean. Uh... What was I supposed to be doing? Right. Switching shapes. Obviously. I have it. Alright, I have to do, uh... I have to do this rigmarole again. But, hear me out. So it's a- it is a fairly steep ramp, I know. Which is- excuse me. Perfect. It'll get them nice and high off the ground. Which I also like. Ugh. You know, wood shapes wasn't a bad idea for the corners, but it was a bad idea in the sense that... How much wood does that take? 10 versus 2. Yeah, sure. S save me the time. I think I'm actually going to go ahead with that. So... I think that's actually a great idea, because this kind of keeps it off the ground a little bit. Now, the only issue I have... will be repairing it. So, I need to make sure that all these traps, all the fences, and all the bits are available to me to repair. So, I think what I- oops. So, I want the doors on this side because this side is going to have the uh, ladder. The way I'm going to get in and out, it's going to be, I don't know, like three or four high or something. And I can put a box to jump up to it. That's fine. So, this will be the way up for me. Alright, now, I think it makes sense to have the electric fences on the same side as the ladder, so I can climb and repair them at the same time. Now, if I put this ramp here, that means the first blade trap is going to be over here and here, so the, so the wires are going to run this way. I want them to run this way, up and down this way, so I need to change the position of the ramp to the other side, to this side, basically. But no, that would block the door, though. I have no choice. It has to go this way. Okay, I'll have to... F maybe I'll put... I'll figure something out with the ladders, I guess. I got no choice. Where's the... That. Yeah. Got no choice, guys. So this is how uh, it's gonna be. So a steep ramp up. You know what? This design actually won't be too bad, I don't think. So how many blocks high am I? One, two, three, four. I think I... I needed a certain height, so they're forced to chase me up. And I don't remember what that height is. Okay, so that's... That's the corner. Right there. So this is where this starts. Okay. 
So this can be where the blade trap is. Like that. So I can do three. And then I can go up. Yes, I like that. Just a second. I'll have to incorporate maintenance ladders going down, I think. That's fine. You know what? Whatever. So I'll do the opposite on this side then. So I need one going up here. Why does this one force me to rotate it? I don't get it. Also, wait, what time is it? It's day... Shit, it's day 26. Um, we're going to need to make a temporary horde base because, it, as you can see, this one is clearly in the concept stages and will not be ready for showtime. Unfortunately, I know. I'm also disappointed by that fact. But it is a fact of our reality. So, here we go. So that's where the first the first blade trap will be there. And that that's good too, because that, that gives them enough room to run in. And for me to shoot them as they run in. Because I'm gonna be up there in the middle. Yeah. Let's go let's roll with this. So we need a lot more wood. A lot more. Like so much more wood. It's not even funny. So I should start doing that. Actually, you know what? We could do this a little bit more stylishly. Instead of making it just a square, let's make it a square with sheared off corners. I think they have the same health as the square blocks. So if I put switch back to these. Oh, I hate that I have to res. Oh, that's not that's not the uh, the key I wanted. I wanted this. I have to reselect on face every time, which is kind of annoying. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Gives it a little bit more character. It's not com it's not nearly as boring. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's do this way. I like it. Perfect. I like it. You know, it's uh, it's a dense design. It it could very well fail me horribly, but that'll be at least entertaining. So you've got that coming for you. <laughs> Let's do the first level. I think uh, I should do the first level. And then after that, this is getting decommissioned. But for now, I'm going to just hammer it out, I think. So we're going to quickly place the walls. We'll do those things all at once. Where's the... I'm on the wall. Okay. Minecraft style. This game actually does seem to have a lot of inspiration from Minecraft. It's amazing. It's like someone decided to make Minecraft a zombie horror game. And I like it. So, I'll do the same thing here. Uh, on face. You had it before. There we go. That key saves you a lot of time rotating. It really does. That option, I mean. Oh, I can't really do it there, though. Yes. See, it's coming together actually a lot faster than I thought. The problem is going to be, one, upgrading all of this shit. That's going to take me ages. And then the other problem is... Um, if it doesn't... If it fails me. But I also need to unlock the perks. So where are we for... Perks, perks. I only have one. So to get to the traps, which is the next level advanced engineering, I need one perk to unlock this, plus two to bring this to level six. So I need two more perks to do anything, which kind of sucks. So let's, uh, let's change the shape back to square. I'm just going to quickly hammer out the rest of this. And then we're going to upgrade it, because... This is the base design. Get it, base? I know, that was awful. And I should feel awful, but I don't. Okay, there we go. Alright. We can do one more quick ramp. And put it on face again. Man, this thing sucks it. There we go. Uh, I don't have enough of them. I have to do at least two more. 
So that there. One. So how many more over here? I don't want to reset the settings on this, so I'm going to make another one. And that should cover it. What a beautiful wooden mess this is. Oh, I love it. Look, the beginnings of the Horde Slaying Tower. I like it. And then they'll have the ramps to run up and die on. Oh, it's going to be magical. So the next question is as well. So if this is going to be a kill spot, then this is going to be a kill spot. I'm, I'm, I need to decide how many I want. I think maybe go up, do another section like this. So I'll do one more. So it's not too, too crazy high. Yeah, I'll do one more and then they can, there'll be an external ramp that brings them up to my floor with a barricade, of course, where I will kill them. But I, th I like this design. I do like it. So, ooh, crickets. Let's quickly do some upgrading. You know what? We're actually getting a lot of XP doing this. This may work out in my favor as I think about it, just because I, I, I don't have to do... I get XP for all of this. I might actually get the, the stuff I need. Probably not, but I can try. I can be hopeful. It's not against the rules to be hopeful. Ugh, forgot. Those, those wooden uh, blocks I put in saved me a fair bit of time. Man, this is, it's tedious, but the XP is good too. I have to say the XP is nice. And I probably burned through all the wood I just harvested. There we go. So, this is a start. Anyway. But, we just need to duplicate this section once more. And then put the, the floor we're going to cower on. And I think that'll be perfect. I say cower, but... It won't really be cowering. How much wood did that take? Most of the wood I had, as I expected. Okay. Fair enough. Um, should I just do wood shapes then? It does save time. I think so. Let's do 20 more of those, and then we'll add on to this. So let's see if we have the same shape options. We do. Oh, wait. Balls. Huh. We can make wooden balls. I wonder if they can run across wooden balls. It would be... We could make a hilariously bad obstacle course for them. And it's very tempting to do that, except for the part where I'm worried that it doesn't work and they just beat on the walls. I'm already running that risk. And that makes me nervous. But we'll see how this goes. So we want on face. Oh, look, it knows exactly where I want it to go. How about this side? I want to make sure that this design allows them to run free as if they were in nature. Now, do they have enough room to s get their heads under? Yes. Now, the problem is I need to go... I do need to do another one of these because if I try to do this section again, there won't be enough room. If I do one, two, three across, they can't... There's no physical room for them. So I do have to keep that in mind as well. Box design... Perfect. Yeah. So that's uh, that's kind of interesting. But we'll be fine. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It'd just be, it'd be disappointing. But, you know. That is life. I don't want to do some boring design that's been done a hundred times. I'm willing to experiment and lose. I may regret those words, but that's okay. We need to cut some more trees down. So this is basically... This is what I'm going for. So, we need some more wood, but I'm going to worry about the wood shortage. The other thing we need to worry about, unfortunately, is our next horde base. So let's scout today. I've got an idea, actually. I've got an idea. So, where was it? There. That tower. That radio tower thing. 
What do I have on me? Shoot, I am kind of full of junk. It's fine. It's not a big POI, and I don't particularly want a big POI. But I do want to try raiding this... That warehouse I raided. I do want to try raiding this uh, little... Even though this is a cool looking station that I don't want to destroy. I'd rather destroy this ugly purpley mess here. But this tower has practical uses. Particularly like the platform. I could make like an obstacle course to get... Oh, maybe not actually. Now that I'm looking at it. Eh, I'm having a hard time picturing what I would do. Quickly. Not what I could do. But what I could do quickly. I think we're going to have to reinforce our old our old crummy design. And it's going to have to survive one more, uh, one more invasion. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do, fix up the... Fix up the old faithful here. One last time. I'm tired of hiding here on Horde Knight already. Especially this. This sucks. We could put spikes in here and tear the ladder out. But it still sucks that they were doing that. Okay. Well, that's no good. They tore through that wall. This was a good spot to put the, this, too. This pay, That paid off. This this great wall I made did not pay off, too, which is too bad. Uh, I, I think we should try to, to make this place work, though. As frustrating as it was, we should make it work. I think that means... Yeah, I, I think that's what that... I think that's what we should do. Because there's already spikes aplenty here. So, I'm just going to have to go through and fix up this base. And uh, make it serviceable one more time. One final time. Because I, I barely made it last time. The vultures were something I need to prepare for this time. So, if we're going to... If we're going to reuse this, we need to make a usable defense on the roof. Also, we should clear the sand out because this is nothing but this isn't going to be nothing but a problem for me. And on top of that, it's resources I can use for concrete, which I'm going to need for the new horde base. So we're going to cannibalize the old base to make the new one. Out of stamina already. Oh, it's because I'm hungry. I should uh, actually have coffee. I think that should boost my guy's abilities. But getting, collecting stone and sand at the same time? Sure. We need it. Maybe I should spend the night here, actually, and work on this. That way I don't have to do it during a video. I think that is a wise decision. But at the same time, it could backfire horribly and I could die. There's always that possibility. Alright, my guy's tired. But this survived, shockingly. Respawns? Okay, not today. They will respawn, that's the problem. So... What can I do to make this better? I think I need to cover this walkway with grating. Uh, with, not with grating, with bars. Metal bars. So, I need more frames, hilariously. Frames I don't have. I can only make 17. Shoot, oh, that's wood shapes, but... I think we're gonna go right to the wood shapes. I need to cut down some trees. I said that already. I did say that already. Oh well. This was going this was meant to be a building episode anyway. Not very exciting unless you enjoy building. But something that needs to be done to uh, ensure our long-term survival here. If we make it that far, we'll see. We have to survive the next horde night, which is uh, questionable. But the main thing is I got work done on the new base, the new horde base, so I just need to make this one good enough to survive one more night. And I think I can do that cheaply. I'm just going to use wood for the bars on the top. I'm not going to bother fixing this up too much, this drum. They can shred it. They can have it. It's theirs. I don't care. Well, I'm about halfway done taking all the sand out. How much does do I have? 500. I mean, that'll make a decent amount of concrete, but this needs to be reinforced. Especially where they fall and land on the spikes. Alright, where's our... Uh... Oh, look, there's a zombie right there. 
That's funny. I kind of want to kill that one now. Just because I can. Damn it. I want it to, I want it to be sneaky. Can you climb under this? No. You're not a very fit zombie. Wow, too lazy to crouch. Let's make noise and get the... I, I feel like fighting something. There. That should have woke them all up. No, apparently not. Oof. Close call. And it was entirely my fault. Okay, that was fun. Now, back to it. There's trees that need chopping. Look, this tree's sunken in. That's funny. Huh? Oh, frig! There's a wandering horde. Oh, scared the bejeebas out of me. Uh, where's- you guys are between me and my bike, you know. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Knife attack. Ooh. Ha ha ha. You almost got me. But you didn't. There we go. The knife has saved my ass yet again. Ugh. That was clumsy. Clumsy, clumsy, clumsy. There we go. I see that other one standing back there. Arrows back? No. Damn it. Hey, how are you such an expert at dodging? There we go. There, dealt with. Oh, that's that got me good. Oh, the bike's over here. All right, uh, trees need to be replanted, obviously. We can't just leave this area deforested. We will cover it in trees. Not just the normal amount. We're where people throw out seeds. No, we waste none. Slowly but surely, the city will be covered in them. Oh shit, that's one too far. Yeah, that's gonna get- that can stay there then. Oops. There we go. That used up those. Now let's get rid of these- these other ones. There we go. Some of them are a bit disjointed, but that's okay. How much wood did that give me? Plenty. Great, because I need plenty. Um, vulture proofing. Vulture proofing has to be done. So, for vulture proofing, I think... What is this? One block high? So let's go four tall with the barrier. Uh, where's the wood shapes? Here we are. So if we're going to go four, four times four, I need 16. All right. And then we can just put them kind of like here-ish. Uh, what shape should I use? Not copy rotation shapes. What kind of pillars do we have? Nothing very interesting. Hmm. Though there is a lot of different shapes. But you could spend a really long time looking through this. These are kind of cool too. I like these. Oh... Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's make it a little fancy. Like this. This'll be the, the vulture netting. And then here we can put uh, just a regular block, but I'm going to do the same thing on this side. There we go. And then... We switch back to the cubes. And then this should give us... The nice... A nice base. Oh shoot, I fell. There we go. And we can just sandwich the bars all over this thing. Like, we're gonna coat it in bars. And the points just to keep those buggers from swooping in and hitting me. 
Though, at the same time, if they get low enough, they can still get me. It should be fine, though. So this will be good, and we can do bars. Bars? There's no more wood bars? Oh, shit. Well, that complicates things a little bit. How about a fence? Can I rotate a wooden fence? I'm gonna try it. Let's do it with one. All right. Uh, good. It's got advanced rotation. I don't think I can shoot through a wooden fence. Shoot, they got rid of the wood bars. Uh, that complicates things majorly. Shoot. Okay. Well, here. Have a fence. Oh, uh, crap. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about that. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna have to put a basic roof then. I got no other choice. Otherwise, they can get me easily. And I think having this just narrowly over here and the bars here, they can only get me through like this middle too high slot, the vultures. I think that should be fine because I need to be able to shoot them anyway. As long as they can't hit me directly and I have time to kind of get ready when they're coming for me. I, I still don't like this though. This feels like, this feels like how I die. I don't like this base anymore. Oh, let's go home. All right, there's our glorious gas station. It looks, it looks really cool, actually. I like the way it's coming along. I can't wait to actually work on this again instead of other projects, but we need a horde base. I'm, even though I'm really itching to work on the house, but I need the materials for the horde base. I absolutely do. I can't really deviate. Let's, um, Let's, let's eat something quick and then we're just gonna... Oh good, there's food. Because I needed it. <laughs> Drink a tea. Have some breakfast before we end the episode. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Anything we can harvest? Yes, you bet. Oh, look at this, guys. Oh, so much food. And the corn's ready. Oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. I don't know why that makes me so happy. Maybe it's the food insecurity I've been living with. Recipes. Sure, keep going, super corn. You do you. Uh, that's not the seed. There we go. Wait, did I just hear a zombie again? I just cleared a wandering horde. Maybe I'm imagining things now. Okay. That's fine. But... Let's see how much corn this give. how many seeds this gave us. Almost none. One, two, three. I need one, two, three there, or one, two at least, and then I need three, four, five. So I need like eight seeds. How many can I make? Six. Well, I guess we're making six. Two, three, four, five, six. I needed one more corn to finish this row. Look how, uh, look how nice the garden's coming. Man, we'll have blueberries and corn ready soon. Do I have any more in here I can take from? Oh, good, I do. Oh, the first corn we can actually eat, guys. That's a Christmas miracle. Okay, recipes, aloe. Where's that gone? Oh, I didn't realize I had two aloe seeds. Well, guess what? You're going to go in this bin then. There we go. The garden's coming along great. Yeah. Farmer Coldwin here. Oh, it's perfect. Perfect. I've got a complete row of corn. The first complete row. Yes. And then how about... Potatoes? I don't have enough for more than one seed. That's okay. Even though I do really want the these. The next harvest should give us enough for another seed if it doesn't give us one. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I will see you again soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.